Monday and here we are right live in the studio at 9 a.m. I'm Michael Taylor. Hope you had a great weekend. I had a real fun weekend. I actually went bouldering and off-roading over in Nevada in my Bronco. That was really a lot of fun. Uh, a lot, learned a lot about the Bronco as we were doing that with some instructors and some other folks. So it was a really great weekend for us. Really warm out there, a big contrast to what we have out here, but uh, let's talk about what's on the show today. We've got a great show for you today. Advanced Ear Care, we're going to be talking to Stuart Spencer about some great discounts on some hearing aids that they have for us right now, so we're going to hear about that and some other things about hearing and hearing loss. And then later in the program, Laguna Woods History Center is going to be here. We're going to be talking to the folks there about their archi archivist, what they're doing with those things, 60th anniversary of the celebration here in Laguna Woods Village, and some other events they have going on, so stay tuned for that as well. Right now we want to keep you informed and if you're interested in getting one of the clubhouse reservations this is the time to do that. It's reservation lottery time for next year uh, so don't miss out on the chance to reserve a 2025 dates at the village facilities for anniversaries, birthdays, family reunions, holiday celebrations, special club events and more. You home pick up your lottery cards at the recreation office or email reservation recreation at vmsinc.org and you have to return that completed lottery cards and requests to the recreation office by 5 p.m. on June 17th and then you will be notified if you got your reservation and when you got it for so that's the process. Make sure you get it in there and reserve those great rooms for all the great events that you could hold there. Let's take a look outside at our weather. And like we said, hey, it's the usual thing. It's June gloom and we've got it solid for the rest of the week. We have AM clouds. I put partly cloudy in there just for fun, but really it's AM clouds and afternoon sunshine. Just depends on how much it peels off and where our temperature is going to go. But we're pretty consistent in the mid to lower 70s for this week and overnight lows in the lower 60s. Let's take a look at our sunrise and our sunset while we're at it. And we've got a fun picture for us. Uh, we'll get there. Here we are. Soka University over in Aliso Viejo. You know, they let folks walk around that campus and it's a beautiful sight of the canyons down there and they have a gorgeous campus. So if you ever want to just take a really nice leisurely walk, there's people up there with their dogs just walking around campus and it's just a lovely, lovely time. Uh, sunrise this morning, 5.40 a.m. Sunset tonight is going to be 8.01. If you'd like to send us a picture of your own sunrise, sunset walk, or pets, places, anything you've been around, we'd love to see it. Email us at lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. Make sure you include your name, where you took the picture, and we will include it in our sunrise, sunset segment. Okay, let's take a look at the meeting we have for you today, and then when we come back, we'll be talking to Stuart Spencer from Advanced Ear Care. For 25 years, we have worked hard to make Brilliant Smile the premier dental office in Laguna Woods. We take the extra time to understand our patients' special needs and always perform the highest quality dental work at affordable prices in a relaxing and friendly environment. There is no need to refer our patients to anybody else. We perform everything from cleaning all the way to the implant and sinus surgeries all under one roof. Stop in or call and experience the Brilliant Smile difference. The Salvation Army Orange County is proud to be a leader in providing comprehensive care to families, men, women, young adults, seniors, and veterans in Orange County. Our shelters provide food, clothing, counseling, housing navigation, and job training. We also provide care through rent and utility assistance, food pantries, anti-trafficking services, adult rehabilitation, and youth programs. Donate today to help families in need and empower individuals towards self-sufficient life. Do you suffer from low back pain? Hogue Orthopedic Institute is the number one provider of orthopedic and spine care in Orange County. Our Back to You program is a unique, non-operative, evidence-based approach to treating low back pain. Our spine strengthening program combines physical therapy with education on pain and nutrition. Let Hogue Orthopedic Institute's Back to You program get you back to doing what you love. For more information, visit hoiexperts.com slash spine or call 855-999-4641 to find a doctor. Are you struggling to hear in your noisy dining room? Do you have to pause and think about what people are saying so you can figure out the words? Do you find yourself lost in conversations? Can you hear but you don't understand the words people are saying? You need to get on the ARC. No, not Noah's ARC. This is Stuart's ARC hearing aids with artificial intelligence. You will never know how much better you can hear 
until you listen to the clear sound and noise right in our office. Call us today. Don't miss the boat. And tell them Stuart sent you. Welcome back, and we always are happy to hear from Advanced Ear Care and Stuart Spencer. Thanks for joining us, as always. Thank you. Good to be here, Michael. So let's talk a little bit about um, some uh, assistive listening devices that that are out there in the market. Remote microphones. What's that about? Yeah. What, how, how does that work? So you know, typically we you know always talk hearing aids and what mm -hmm. they're doing for the general public and everything. You know, we get into these assistive listening devices mm -hmm. for some really uh, specific uses. Okay. Or for people that really have severe or really profound loss. Okay. You know that even with hearing aids, they really struggle. Okay. And so, you know, uh, communication's important, right? So, you know, a lot of times the spouses are like, well, I'm concerned about him, you know, even in the house. Mm -hmm. So if they just wear a remote uh, microphone around their neck. Kind of like the ones we're wearing right now. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so, you know, you could be out in the lobby, and okay. I could say, hey, Michael, you know, it's time for lunch, and you'd hear me, you know, right in your hearing aids. Or in a crowded room. You know, it reduces the background noise, so it's a direct audio input right from okay. the mic to your hearing aids. Okay. So the clarity is so much better, All right. and the communication is a lot easier. You know, people that uh, interact with people that have those profound or se pro mm -hmm. severe hearing losses struggle. You know, okay. it's like you know, oh my gosh, just to get the point across, it's just really laboring. And that's for people whose whose hearing is really kind of deteriorated. We've gotten to that point where where it's a real challenge for us, right? <laughs> And so I think that's one of the things that's interesting about that is that, you know, there's so many devices that are coming out today that didn't used to be out there just 10, 15 years ago that right. people don't have to, people oh. don't have to struggle. Uh, another one is, which I think is cool, is the way you can hook up a hearing aid to your television. Yes. So people struggle with TV. I'm <laughs> sure, you know, some of your neighbors are in this area, right? You know, right. They're blasting their TV. <laughs> you know, what's so um, effective is they can just mute their TV. Mm -hmm. and nobody else hears it. And you know, with our specific devices, all you do is just double tap your ear. I just heard a ding ding, and then you hear the TV across the room right in your hearing aid. Wow. So you don't have to fiddle with anything, pull anything out, you know, there's no real struggle. It's such an easy thing to interact with. And then, um, you know, if you don't want to hear it, you know, just tap out, and then you're just back to the regular hearing. Wow. But the clarity, you know, everybody always talks about clarity. The clarity, they can watch those English movies or programs mm -hmm. or podcasts and Downtown Abbey, you know, we hear about, <laughs> and, um, and they understand them. Mm -hmm. uh, what, about, what, what, what about remote controls? How do, can, can you, you yep. operate your hearing aid with a remote control? You sure can, you know, and I mean, one of the most popular remote controls now is our, our cell phones, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that we have apps for those and people can right. use them. But, you know, a lot of our clientele don't have cell phones. Oh, you know, okay. or really don't use them or don't want to use them. Right, they, they, don't have want to, them. they don't want to mess with the tech. They just want to answer the phone and, you know, talk to their children or their family. And so, you know, and then there's dexterity issues, right? You know, hearing aids are small, they're up here, you can't see them, you know, to really look at it, to push a button. So, you know, we have these remote controls that makes it so easy mm -hmm. for them just to turn the volume up and down, okay. maybe change a program, you know, to a louder you know, type of setting, you know, or uh, like an auditorium setting if they're in church, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, or in a restaurant to reduce background noise, mm -hmm. you know, so it just makes it easy. They can see it, they can handle it, you know, with one or two hands, right? and it just makes the fundamentals much more uh, accessible for them. And I guess that's what's interesting, too, is the fine-tuning you can do to, based on your environment, how you want your hearing aid to work. And not only remote controls, but there's kind of like AI technology out oh. there now, too, where it, it'll, it'll make that adjustment on the fly depending on what's going on, right? Absolutely. You know, I mean, Starkey and Audible have this technology that's just mind-blowing today. Uh, you know, it's looking at the space you know, the sound, spatial sound around you, something ridiculous, like mm -hmm. 20,000 times a second. You know, but now the AI groups those sounds, mm -hmm. right? So it gets a lot more intelligent. You know, is it speech, speech and noise, a quiet environment, wind noise, machine noise? What is it? You know, while the hearing aids are talking to each other and looking for where the sound is coming from, then enhancing it according to your particular configuration of hearing loss, 
in like in real time, mm -hmm. right? That's crazy. So technology is amazing. The hearing aids are expensive across the board, and Costco and other. They're, they're, you don't need a prescription anymore. But you guys are running a, a little bit of a special where you're you're offering some really great hearing aids at a pretty good price, right? Really good, really good. You know, we call it the inflation buster. <laughs> you know, just because prices have been so high everywhere. You know, and uh, so what we've done is just package this set of. Uh, really top of the line hearing aids. They're called the ARC hearing aid. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's for 1998. It's for a pair, you know, and usually for that at, you know, other places, you know, you get a one year warranty and mm -hmm. no service and that type of thing. This is a three year warranty, three year service. It's our full package. Mm -hmm. So people can really get into much better hearing for a lot less. Mm -hmm. And t talk about the difference between the off the shelf stuff you can buy at the grocery store or wherever you can buy these yeah. hearing aids now and, and the kind of, uh, kind of um, hearing aids you guys can provide. Yeah. You know, I don't know, let me think of something. You know, it's kind of like the difference, <laughs> if you really want to simplify it, like between a plastic fork and a real fork. <laughs> you know, you go to lift up something with a plastic fork, it snaps off, right. it's weak, the prongs break. You know, it's not a quality device. Mm -hmm. You know, the real solid fork, you know, you can count on it. You can use it every day. day in and you day can out. wash it again, and it's <laughs> going to be just as good tomorrow as it mm -hmm. was yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's reliable. You know, and it's a lot better product. Mm -hmm. You know, and so there's just so many different things. We could talk all day, honestly, yeah. about how much, you know, like we just talked about AI being in a hearing aid. I mean, I put my hearing aids on, I wear them, and I hear better. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not adjusting them all day long. I'm in noisy situations in the car, you know, working with people one on one. You know, I understand really well. And hearing is very intricate and delicate. Absolutely. It takes that kind of technology and that kind of quality to really maximize hearing clarity. And I mean, what else do we have left, right? But the mm -hmm. people that we really want to love and talk to. Absolutely. And I guess one of the other things is, is when I buy something off the shelf, I have to read all the instructions. <laughs> you know? I have to figure it out. I have to set it for me. But when you go in to see you and, and others like you, uh, you're going to be able to fine tune all of this stuff and walk the folks through all of the gizmos and gadgets that they that come with the hearing yeah. aids, right? And the continued support. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I mean, we see all of our patients every three to four months you know, look in their ears, make sure they're clear, you know, and they always have questions about how they can use them better. You know, they're hearing changes, so we can change the hearing aid for them, you know, and they can kind of grow, the technology grows with them, so they're always hearing the best they can. Yeah, and the thing about hearing loss is if people think they might be experiencing it, there are really no major telltale signs because it, it, there's no pain in hearing loss, right? right. And it's very gradual. It's a, yes. kind of like you know losing your vision, you need readers or that kind of thing. Yeah. But, but the hearing is, is a little more subtle because you just think, oh, that wasn't very loud or something, or I'm, I'm not hearing that well, come closer. But maybe people don't realize that there's actual hearing loss going yeah. on. Yeah, or you know they're just not talking clearly. Mm -hmm. You know that those type of things with with vision, you know it because it gets yeah, blurry, because, yeah. right? It's like bang, you know I got to get something done. With hearing, it's so subtle. We see hundreds of people, you know, uh, every year, and they think, oh my gosh, I didn't know I had hearing loss. Mm -hmm. But the spouses brought them in, their son or daughters brought them in, and I mean, you know, we put the hearing aids on, then they know the difference. You're right. And it's like, oh my goodness, I should have done this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You know, they realize the quality of life just within minutes you know, that they've been missing. And so, you know, we just urge people, I mean, come in, just have it tested. We'll show them, you know, how they're hearing without anything and how they'd hear with a new hearing device. Mm -hmm. And I mean, sometimes it's like 42% without, like 92% with. It's a quality of life difference, my right? And it, and, and it does make it, it makes a difference for the entire family too. So yes. if you're if you're being stubborn about it, but think of all the people in your life that you know I you know, I don't want I have the vanity of not wearing a hearing aid yeah. kind of thing going on, but they're they're almost invisible now, and oh, yeah. and you get to be part of everything again. Yeah. And hey, everybody has something in their ear today, an <laughs> AirPod, a Bluetooth. Right. I mean, it's, know, it's not a big stigma anymore. You know, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. But the consideration for the family is huge. Mm -hmm. Huge and really important to take you know that into into context because they're struggling with you. Yeah, absolutely. Stuart Spencer, Advanced Ear Care. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Michael. It's nice to be here. Always good to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Goodwoods History Center is coming up next. You're watching this day. The California Attorney General, Ron Bonta issued a consumer alert on hearing aids sold over the counter or online. Quote, while hearing aids sold online or over the counter may appear to be more cost effective than traditional hearing aids, they may not properly address your particular hearing loss needs or they may be outright scams. He goes on to say, 
Get checked by a licensed hearing professional and beware of misleading claims. Call Advanced Ear Care today for answers on over-the-counter hearing aids and options. Tell them Stuart sent you. Theater Guild presents In Juliet's Garden Consider this Five women challenge their creator, William Shakespeare. Why? Find out on June 18th at Clubhouse 2 in this clever and interactive play with lunch. Cost? $28. Register at theaterguildlw.com. Your smile is key to your overall health. Put it into good hands with Loberg Dental. We are restorative dentistry experts specializing in fillings, crowns, dental implants, root canals, and more. Come experience our exceptional care for yourself with a special offer for new patients. Your first exam and set of x-rays is free without insurance. Let us give you something to smile about. Visit DrLoberg.com today to make an appointment and get your free exam and x-rays. Welcome to Envision Eye Centers, conveniently located next to Laguna Woods. We offer cutting edge technology that meets unsurpassed service. You and your eyes are my priority. We will treat you with the utmost care and compassion. Some might offer local exams, but they'll send you on a trek for surgery. Skip the unnecessary travel. You can be confident that we will deliver the best outcome for your eyes. Schedule your consultation today and see the world clearly. Call us or visit our website. No inconvenience, just expert care. <laughs> It's a big year for the Laguna Woods History Center. It's the 60th anniversary of Leisure World, Laguna Hoods, all of that all combined, and they are celebrating over at the center. I want to welcome to the program Catherine Bryans and Gail Dixon. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. us. So tell us a little bit about the History Center in general. It's been around for quite some time, and yes. what do you guys do there in terms of how you decide what exhibit's going to be what and what you display and what you don't? Absolutely. Well, first thing first, we've been an organization since 1977. Okay. All right. So we've been around not quite as long as the community, but mm -hmm. when Rossmore Corporation was beginning to phase out their construction, mm -hmm. some of the materials were given to the Historical Society, which okay. is what we were called previously. Back in the day. At, <laughs> back in the day. So what our, our focus is, is maintaining the history of not just the Guna Woods, but some of the surrounding areas that mm -hmm. pertain to us. Laguna Hills was a big part of this community for a long yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. And there were communities built in Laguna Hills for families to be next to the folks here in, in Leisure World. Well, <laughs> we welcomed them all because we were here first. Um, I think basically what our goal is to maintain that information we can do it digitally or physically and in physical i mean there's actually items that we have mm -hmm. some of them will be on display and also um, in physical files where people have given us things that have not been scanned they're mm. just okay. but our goal is to eventually get everything digitally so we we get that in several ways. Community members give us things mm -hmm. that are pertaining to our community and um, just providing researchable information not just for our residents but for other agencies that like to contact us. Okay. Now Gail, you've been kind of helping oversee the 60th anniversary celebration. What are some of the things that people can see for this anniversary if they go down to the History Center? Well, we've had uh, we were having three major exhibits during the year, and you're going to talk about the first one with the molten display. No, oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will. <laughs> if she has to. <laughs> Come on, Gail, give us give us the, the details. The museum gave us a wonderful, wonderful uh, exhibit for for four months, and it featured uh, major items that have never been on display before, mm -hmm. and we had. Um, the yoke from a um, cow. <laughs> or an oxen. <laughs> or an oxen, yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, many, many wonderful display items. And then we had in our smaller uh, exhibit case, we had um, Nellie Gale Moulton's artwork, her original palette. Um, oh, wow. That was kind of exciting. So we had 
a nice professional exhibit to kick off the year. And then our, our second one, uh, which is currently on display, which is being shown right now, um, our president and CEO comes up with the signage to describe what is on display. Mm. And then my job is to go back in the archives on a treasure hunt and find <laughs> the photographs, uh, frame them, uh, find some materials that maybe are colorful, mm -hmm. uh, which might come to bear that we have a caterpillar yes, you replica. Have a little, a yes, toy yes. caterpillar in a box yes, here. What's, yes. what's that all about? Well, we're, as I said, we were trying to put color into the display, and it's very similar to one of the scrapers that was used in the um, original construction of mm -hmm. uh, the land. So we're hoping that people will fill out a little card and we'll do a drawing August 28th so that maybe they can win this for their grandkids yeah. or, or for themselves. Now, <laughs> you know, now Orange County's pretty built out these days, but when I was a kid, I remember seeing earth movers yes. all the time yes. everywhere in yeah. these new communities that were just springing up in right. South Orange County everywhere. Right. And earth movers were, right. they were part of the landscape and they were, right. they, were, they were like the eagles and the hawks and the little earth movers. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then we, um, I, I wanted to have a, a pink princess telephone, so we found one of those. <laughs> and then another colorful item, uh, we had contacted a company that rents out uh, items. And this company, our, our request was too inexpensive for them, so mm -hmm. they couldn't help us because the minimum was like a $10,000 <laughs> rental fee and that wasn't quite our budget. <laughs> so um, the gal that I had been talking to said, well, I personally have a Smith Corona typewriter from back in the day. Oh. So she drove over and loaned it to us. And back in the, the first residence, were given a gift of personalized stationery. So they oh, had really? a box of stationery. So that kind of tied in. So just whatever we can do to make the display interesting. Wow, it just kind of brings the, kind of the flavor of what it was like exactly, back then, the times exactly. and everything exactly. like that. And our last display will uh, exhibit will be uh, generally celebrations that went on for the uh, 60 years. We have mm -hmm. a 10th anniversary, we have 25th, um, the 30th, 45th, some of them didn't really have much going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds, so like it's, it's, sounds like it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun over it, there, a lot of history. Exactly. Um, when you guys also, not only do you have the displays and that kind of thing, but you also serve some of the clubs and some of the groups here Me in terms too. of um, storing their materials like minutes and, and those kinds of things for them. Absolutely, and it's temperature and humidity control, mm -hmm. which is what we need as an archive anyway, right. but they can take advantage of that by nothing eating their paperwork. No, and no bookworms they, getting in there. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that's and one of the things like that. only ways that we raise funds. They pay $50 a year for storage. Mm -hmm. And um, because we're an independent 501c3, we don't get anything from assessments. So we mm -hmm. just live by donation. Okay. And that's important. We're in a GRF building. Our organization built that building but donated it to GRF with a long-term lease. So we get to stay there and collect things that are important mm -hmm. for people to research. Right. And like you said, for the storage that people can use, I think one of the things you mentioned to me before we, before we were talking about, like sometimes the people are keeping those at their, their place. And unfortunately, in this community, when someone passes away, family members come in, don't see the value in that, and they throw all that Correct. stuff out. So it's kind of, a, kind of a safe place for people to store the archives of the clubs and those kind of things too, right? Yes. It's, it's important because, we, and for anyone that has things that they think might be important, mm -hmm. bring them to us. We'll let you know. Right. Mm -hmm. And what's it like? Do you guys get folks coming in researching the history of this place or researching things from this area? Is that something that is it's open to, for anybody to be able to use? It is. It is. And we've had some really interesting stories. And we'll have people come in and say, gee, my grandparents lived here back in whatever. <laughs> whenever. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember their address. And so we'll okay. ask them what year maybe. And then we'll take them back to look at old phone books. And they can find out where they lived and drive by. and. We have old phone books. Yes, back to 1964. 
every year. Now you come on, you've come on the program here, and what are some of the other ways you kind of inform people about what the History Center does, and how do you how do you kind of get out into the community? That's a good question. We try to get information out through the Breeze in the Globe Weekly. Um, I do speaking at clubs and organizations, and I think that's the way we stay in touch by just keeping the word out, what mm -hmm. we're doing, what we're about, because when someone's informed, then they're more than likely to come in mm -hmm. and find out more or add to it. And it's really important for us also to stay in connection with outside organizations like ours. Mm -hmm. And we've been very fortunate to have very good response from outside organizations by what we do. And we have a great gal who's just come on board as a volunteer that does our weekly Facebook, Facebook posting. And, and gotten a lot of yeah. feedback from that, which is great. Right. Well, it's the 60th anniversary. Folks should get down to the center and take a look at some of the exhibits, participate in some of the events you guys are having. Catherine and Gail, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you for having it was a us. pleasure. And when we come back, we'll take a look at our Monday movie. Stay with us. The King Living Mid-Year Sale is on now. Five decades of Australian furniture design, crafted for a lifetime of comfort. So why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? Sale on now. Did you ever? The King Living Mid-Year Sale is on now. Save up to 50% on Australian-designed, award-winning furniture. So why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? Sale on now. Seniors fear running out of money more than death itself. And the number one mistake you can make is underestimating volatility, which can derail your retirement. For 35 years now, I've coached seniors to financial independence by using two simple rules. Never take big losses and create income along the way. It's your financial future. Call now to get a free risk analysis to ensure your investments are protected. And we'll send you our safer money system. 949-219-0692. Okay, quick look at our Monday movie before we head off for the day, and it's a great one. One Life with Anthony Hopkins is brought to us by Hogue. It's going to be at 2 p.m. with the subtitles, 6 p.m. without the subtitles. Uh, one Life is a biographical drama based on the true story of a British humanitarian, Nicholas Winton. The film alternates between following the 79-year-old Winton and reminiscing in his past and the 29-year-old when he attempted to help a group of Jewish children in German-occupied Czechoslovakia to hide and flee uh, from Nazis just before World War II began. It's an amazing story. I've seen clips from the documentary of it as well. It's really great, and uh, make sure you give this one a watch. It's definitely worthwhile. Let's take a look at our weather before we head out, and it's basically the same for this week. Morning clouds, afternoon sunshine, and temperatures in the mid-70s. That's going to do it for this edition of This Day. Tomorrow on the program, we're going to welcome Pacific Financial Planners and Reform Temple of Laguna Woods. That's going to do it for this edition of This Day. I'm Michael Taylor, and for all of us here at Village Television, we hope you make this day a great one. Are you concerned about your property values, assessments, services? I'm concerned, so come to the United Town Hall and ask all the questions you wanted to, but maybe you were afraid to ask. When? You should know that. I know. June 14th, 2 p.m., Clubhouse 3. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there too. Be there or be square. Yes. <laughs>